any talk of diplomatic recognition of the Taliban government is completely premature and shouldn't be considered. But we do also have to uh, face facts. They are now going to be in control of the country for the foreseeable future. And the number one priority now is to uh, get safe passage for the people that we need to protect, both British nationals and those Afghans that are eligible. And then we have to, looking to the longer term, uh, have that, uh, make an attempt at least to protect uh, the human rights uh, that, where there has been progress and to try to have uh, pragmatic conversations uh, with the Taliban as and when uh, that is necessary. Um, I think we also have to recognize uh, that there's a real risk that Afghanistan could become a magnet uh, for international terrorism and the government and the Prime Minister tomorrow needs to set out a very clear strategy as to how we're going to uh, gather intelligence on the ground in Afghanistan and also strengthen and ramp up our counter-terrorism work here in the UK. Uh, so real risks in terms of uh, going backwards on human rights and real risks in terms of uh, international security and, and international terrorism and, and the safety of the people on the streets of our country. Uh, so uh, we really are in a, a pretty dire situation uh, and we need to hear a gut from a government tomorrow and from a prime minister who's actually on top of this, who is actually showing some urgency and uh, some commitment because frankly over recent days and weeks it, it feels like the government's been completely asleep on the wheel uh, on this issue.